Yo, what's up, YouTube? So, <clears throat> today I'm going to be uh, going over uh, how to gain stage control and maintain it, and um, also some edge guarding tips as well. So, yeah, stay tuned, bruh. So, like the first thing, I'm not really going to go over neutral that much. I'm just going to go over, like, strictly stage control. So, to get stage control in the first place, you have to, like, just win neutral. And I'm not going to explain that, but after you do win neutral, um, you got to look, actually, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. Um, what you should do, um, in the start of the match is if you want to play like stage control base, cause you feel like you do better there or like you feel like your weapons are better for that or like your character, like you have a sick that spikes or a lot of coverage. Um, I would, I would worry about prioritizing, um, moves that hit the center or that hit away from center stage. Like an example of this would be doing delight Sarah on sword instead of delight dare. Because you can hit your opponent further away and then start edge guarding them. Which will be like actually super easy because they will have limited options while you'll you'll have like all your jumps while they're burning options. So that's how you um get stage control in the first place. So after you get stage control, what you should do is try to read their dodges. So the thing that a lot of people do is they dodge in after losing taste control because they want to regain it as fast as possible. So like they'll dodge in, so you can catch it like this, and then boom, you're in the edge guarding situation right here, which is really important. Like if you want to um, reverse somebody or just like build up damage, because if I deal like dare at the opponent right here, and I, I like I didn't really know what they were gonna do, and on top of that, even if I do hit this little combo right here, it's just back to neutral. Well, I can do like Sarah them and then hit them with this and then depending on the character they could actually die super early. So that's how you um that's how you take advantage of people dodging in because they want to get station control in the first place. So some of the tips for station control is to um prioritize weapon starving and like trying to maintain center stage at all times. And if you if you do have like active input like a weapon like Scythe or some kind of sig that has active input, always try to throw them away from um, center stage. Unless you feel like there's a reason that you would do something else. And when you hit them off stage, don't instantly try to um don't instantly try to go off stage like this, because if you mess up then you can instantly just get reverse wall. You should try to build as much damage as possible from this scenario. So you could like end light them, you could catch them recovering high or low, and just like get an easy kill confirm. Well, if I just jumped off stage, I could potentially just mess up and it's back to neutral. Or it's, it's even back to um, them edge guarding me if they get up as, um, way faster than I do. So, I, like some edge guarding tips is not to get really close to the um, to the wall while you're edge guarding them because you can get hit by so many moves when you're standing here. And it really depends what weapon you're fighting against. Like the spacing really just depends. Like when I'm fighting a lance player, I usually like to just stay in this kind of area because if I play really ground, they can decide on me. Same with blasters. They can't really hit me in this angle when they're on the wall like this. They can't stare me and they can't near me. Unless they have some sort of state that can cover. So you can stay in an area like this. And so if they do like a little side air to try to hit you, you can catch them and do some other kind of move. So yeah, it like really depends what weapon you're fighting. If you're fighting spear, you can kind of just stay like away from them like this so if they try to like side are you by recovering to the stage then you can catch that so um like people that recover grounded they'll always do an attack as soon as they recover grounded so they'll go like like this or like do a sliding delight or like some kind of move like that and you've probably seen a lot of players do this where they get up instantly and they just go for a move and i already, I already told you guys how to avoid this kind of thing but a way that you can tell when they're about to do is when they're slowly progressing up the wall like this. And the reason why this happens is because they're trying to inch up closer because ledge canceling is pretty hard to do. So you have to like have a perfect input to actually do it. So if they're like inching up and they're just taking their time with it, then they're probably just going to recover with the attack like this. Well, if they're going to recover high, they'll just do it because it's not it's not too punishable unless you really have a read on them. They'll do it way faster, and they won't even inch up because there's no point. They don't want to recover ground because they're scared of the ground. They want to go up high. So, and what you can do to punish people that recover high is um, don't chase them. Don't chase them, but you can pressure them from a distance. So, let's say, like, somebody's up here, 
you can um, pressure them by jumping and fast falling and then they could like spot dodge or fast fall because they think that you're gonna try to hit them so like when they're up here and you're like sitting there what I like to do is I like to follow their movement so if they're like moving to like the left and the right over and over like I'll just like follow their movement like this and then they'll get pressured I'll maybe like jump and fast fall and then they spot dodge and then I nair them and then it leads into like a juggle situation which is pretty useful in blasters or spear just any anything with a good anti here but a really good way you can punish people for um, recovering high is a lot of them, they will jump into the stage, right? And then they'll dodge back last second because a lot of people, what they do in the air is they like to bait you out. So nobody really goes in the same direction. Like, so if you see a, a person always like going to the right, they're always just going to like do something else, like the exact opposite of the move. So they're going to dodge back last minute. So a lot of people will do this. Well, like they'll be over here. And then they get scared and they back up and go back to the corner of the stage because they want to at least get their jumps back before they fall to the edge of the map. And then you can punish their dodge. And I'll have some clips of um, examples of these while I'm talking so you guys can see what it actually looks like in, in gameplay because this is like really useful for edge guarding people. So you can punish them um, for getting scared of you. And some people, like really experienced players, they will just go into you like they'll know that you're scared of them because when you when you have station control you can't be scared a lot of people they'll see me come in like this and then they'll just like run away and give me the station control for free but a lot of people this is just fake pressure like the person who's actually approaching you like this is actually scared they don't want to get hit off stage and potentially just die so they'll bait you and then like you'll get scared then back up and lose stage control and then they'll just dodge back and then it's back to neutral while you can punish them and go into them last second after following their movement and then punish them and then you like, rinse and repeat over and over and over and one really important thing for edge guarding is that it's basically a 50 50 so you have to take note it's like it's more mental games you have to take note of um what you hit them with last time and how they felt when you hit them with that the previous time so let's say you got a huge punish because they kept playing grounded and you like deal like gc and sig them right and the next time they're probably going to adapt instantly and start recovering high so, and that's that's a call out. If you call them out for something and you like punish them extremely hard, they'll always do the opposite. Or you can make it discreet by just enlightening them twice, and then you do an sig. Usually, um, when you're doing discreet punishes like that, that'll take like up to twice, like two times, um, before they start adapting. Cause an enlight really isn't that important. Like people will just like brush it and light off. But when they get hit by something like delight, GC and sig, they'll actually be like, damn, I fucked up. So, you can use mind games like that. Another thing that you can use for edge guarding is using the same move when they're like on the wall to make them think they're gonna do something else. So let's say they're on the wall like this. I can just do delight over and over to make them think that I'm gonna do a grounded attack. And then they try to recover high because they really don't wanna get hit by this move. So they'll recover high and I just end them. So you can actually bait people out by doing stuff like that. And people, um, some people, they dodge into the stage like this. They just want to get it really back. They, they, like, they do like a delayed dodge in. Like this. So you can actually punish that by either reading a cross up. Or you can just back up further and hit them. And this one doesn't really matter as much. Like you don't. There's no like real um, correct way to do this. You can read the cross up if you want to. Or you can just back up harder. It just depends what kind of weapons you have. On sight I'd probably read the cross up so I can do a um, side air after reading them. Also, another thing I forgot to talk about was um, after you hit them really far away, so let, let's say they're at orange or red, and you hit them away, right? Depending on what weapon they have, they will um, either dodge in, do a wake-up recovery, or wake-up cider. So I'll go over ciders first. So people that have lance and cannon usually do ciders or gauntlets. Any kind of cider that um, sends them forward, they usually do it so they can get back quicker. So cannon players will like usually do wake-up cider after they get hit off. So you can take advantage of this by doing this and then hit them again. You can either you can weapon throw them. You can do whatever you want actually. Like you can GC delight sir. I usually do weapon throw though. But um also cannon players they also do recovery. So let me do this. A lot of them will do wake up recovery too, so you can take advantage of this. Um, axe players do wake up recovery. Uh, let me think. Qatar players do wake up recovery. Unarmed players do wake up dare. Any recovery like that, like 
Well, not other than lance recovery though. A lot of lance players will do side air, and that's basically it. Cause like recovery is way too slow to actually to actually be used to recover quickly. So cannon players will do side air or recovery. Axe players usually do recovery. Gauntlet players do side air. Cathar players do recovery. With unarmed players do um do dare. Or players also do recovery. And any other weapon that I didn't talk about, they usually don't do anything. Like sword. People really don't do anything on sword or spear. Or like any of those any of the weapons I didn't mention. Also scythe players, um scythe players also do recovery on wake up. So that's like really important to keep in mind. But like weapons like blaster, spear, sword, they don't in hammer, they don't really don't do anything when they get hit off stage. They kinda just float towards you. Or they'll do a dodge in, so just keep other people doing dodges in. After get them really far away or some sort of wake up. And you can take advantage of it really easily. Alright, so that's basically most of the tips that I have. Cause I actually like can't think of what I what else I have right now, so I guess that's just the end of the video. So um like the video, put in the comments what you want me to go over because there's a lot of like really specific scenarios that I um I like to talk about the video so yeah um ask me what you want me to do i remember to like the video subscribe to my channel and yeah peace